So here we've got an email that's come through from someone that's having a bit of an issue with one of the products they've purchased. So looking for some um, for some help. So what we can do is from this email, we can create a case automatically so we can take the contents and convert it to a case. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to track the email. So what this is doing is it's looking to see if Auntie's email is already in D365. What you'll notice is even though it's found Megan Walker as the user record that this email has been sent to, it's got Auntie's name on there, but it's in red. So if I click on this, that gives me two options. I can either say I want to create this person as a lead or I want to create them as a contact. So I'm I'm going to create them as a contact. So maybe the account's already in the system and it's just that this is the first time Auntie's ever actually contacted support or contacted the company. Um, so that's fine. I don't want to do a lead because I'm not going through that sales process. Okay, so it's pulled in all of that information. That's fantastic. Um, don't need to do anything with that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and close the record. And now instead of it being red, we've got it in blue. So we can see that that's actually a legitimate record in the system. OK, so now at the top, what we've got is the option to go ahead and convert this email into a case. So if we click on convert to case, what that's going to do is it's going to take um, the subject of the email. It's going to have anti in as the contact link to the case or the customer. If you use the subject tree um, within cases to where you're basically able to identify and say this is a, a product related issue or it's a query or whatever it might be. Um, so this is actually a query about products. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Do I want to open the new case and close the email form? I can go ahead and do that. So now what we're doing is we're taking the email and we're converting it into a case. Once we've done that, the regarding field in the email will actually have the case referenced in there as well. So we'll know that the, the, the email was tracked into D365 and then linked to the case once the case was created. Um, so you can see, even though it's still loading um, the, the case in the browser, it's already actually been created. So we can see there regarding is help needed. My hoverboard broke. So it's automatically now linked into Auntie's record as the activity for the email. It's also then we've created a case for that and that email will also be linked into the case record as well. OK, so there we go. There's the case record so we can see help needed. There's the subject we selected, the customer. And if we go into the activities, there's the initial email that was sent. So that's how you can easily take an email and link it into D365 and create a case from the email.